This is Drom Shakasuto. Thanks for watching. Please remember to subscribe and like this video. Shalom Aleichem. How are you doing? Um, so, my wife um, did most of the job for Shabbat and we are almost ready. And um, I took some time. I asked for some time and then after uh, my wife smiled to me and told me that it's okay I took some time for myself also to sit and to speak with you it's a very good um, meditation for me to speak with you guys and also I'm gonna paint a little bit so it's a blank paper for now those are my water colors and that's my water and um, slowly slowly we'll see where it um, will take us I wanted to share a few thoughts with you things that are very important to me very painful situations are um, coming like waves in the sea it's written on uh, Rabbi Akiva that um, his students once heard that uh, Rabbi Akiva and all of his friends were sailing in the sea and, um, and there was a storm and the boat, the, the boat, the ship drowned at the sea and um, Rabbi Akiva came back so all of his students they asked him how how did you survive how, how what helped you not to drown so he said I was bending my head nodding my head for every wave and it's a very big um, it's a very big um, example for us to learn how to deal with difficulties with the waves that are attacking and um, sometimes seems like challenges and difficulties are piling and Rabbi Akiva is teaching us that we need to literally humble ourselves in front of every wave and not to pay attention to the shame and to the insultings and to even to the difficulty of that challenge just to humble yourself and to continue and to move on so I wanted to share with you from my heart from certain situations that I'm experiencing now something that also happened too many times in the past and um, and rings a bell and I wanna share this thing with you maybe to warn you maybe to guide you maybe to just even maybe to share from uh, my experience and to let you know what I'm going through in my in my life so there was a story on on a person that went to his rabbi when told his rabbi that he needs help his rabbi asked him what you need help with so he answered him I want to fix a certain sin that I committed and I need your guidance, I need your help. So he told him, okay, what, what have you done that, that you need to fix? So that person told his rabbi, I was talking Lashon I was saying bad things about other people and I, I sinned many times in, in that thing and I want to fix it. I don't want to do it anymore. And I want to fix the damage that I caused so his rabbi told him okay there is a there is something to do take take a bag with feathers and go and throw the feathers spread them around the city around our town and then come back so that person took a bag with feathers and went and start walking all over the town all over that city and throwing one feather after the next until he finished 
throwing away all of those feathers, came back to the rabbi. The rabbi asked him, okay, how are you? What's going on? He said, I did what you told me. You told me to take feathers and to throw them all over the town, and I did it. So the rabbi told him, great, amazing job. Now go and pick them up, collect them, bring them back home. So that person told him it's impossible. So the rabbi told him, that is my answer to you about your Lashon Ara. You already spread it and now it's out there. What do you want to do? Lashon Ara, bad things, negative things about people and especially about righteous people is something that is damaging and causing a lot of damage and a lot of um, a lot of pain in many aspects and there is no way to to fix it and if you're the one that did it so you're in a problem because what that you've done is not uh, fixable anymore cannot be fixed so it happened to me a few times in my life that I experienced the same thing with a few, few of my uh, so-called friends, so-called students, people that were very close to me. And in certain time, suddenly they changed their skin in a way and they lost something in their connection with me and there are certain phrases certain words that they are saying in every situation that are similar and showing to me that they all been infected with the same thing and it's Lashon Ara. they accepted some kind of gossip sometimes of some kind of, of bad words and that is the thing that is causing them to separate and to go somewhere else and it's very painful because from one side you're giving your heart and your soul to people and really I know about myself that I dedicated myself so much to, to those guys, to students of mine, to friends of mine and I, I really gave them my heart as much as I could as much as I was able to and I and I did it from my heart and after a while suddenly you see that people are growing and they're achieving certain things in life and you know that those things that they achieved are because of what that you influenced on them that you gave them and after a while suddenly something happened and they start listening to conversations of other people and they're losing their connection and it's very it's very painful it's very sad now for me I already got used to that but I don't want it to happen to no one else because when a person is losing his gratitude so he's losing much more than gratitude what that he is losing is not only for the future not only that he is losing the connection for the future he is also burning everything that he received until now and that's a huge loss because okay let's say that you don't want to continue in a certain path and you want to change but when you accept Lashon Ara when you accept the bad things about a person so that is like certain poison that the one that spoke with you dripped into your well of pure water and all of the water been contaminated and now it's sinking it's penetrating into all the cracks of your of your being and it's damaging you and it's and it's killing the person from inside the one that is talking the one that is hearing and if the person that they spoke about is also not stable and strong and righteous so he can also be damaged by those filthy words it's a beautiful thing last week 
we gave um, my oh, one week and a half ago my wife and I we spoke on uh, on the Facebook live and we were sharing some of our difficulties and challenges that we're going through and um, the results were amazing because really we were sharing and talking about our hearts and what that we went through and people really woke up like to help us and to be by our side and uh, you know there is a group a questions and answers group that we opened on our channel and um, that's a group that is open for the guys that are supporting us monthly on, mon on monthly basis it's a 36 dollars donation for all of our activities and people that are doing that monthly can they have this opportunity to join us to that questions and answers group now those people that are in that group are very dedicated and like who will support us monthly those are those that like really feel connection and 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 believe in our project in our things so last week on thursday we had that questions and answers with that group and it was a very honest conversation over there and my wife also was on that on that conversation on that talk and like people revealed and opened their hearts in such a beautiful way and and gave us so much support and so much love and also all of you guys in 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 the comments and and the emails that we're receiving from you and the whatsapp messages that i'm receiving from hundreds of people every day showing so much affection and so much so much love and so much gratitude that it's a um, that it's really amazing that we saw that after opening our mouths and really telling what that we felt it's a uh, not only that it helped us to to know that we are between friends and that you care about us as well and just also we saw that our effort is not is not for free because really the verse is saying kamaim hapanim the water are reflecting the face like your your and um, like a mirror it's showing your face to you back so when i saw that my students they care about me so much and when my wife she felt it felt it as well it's a um, it's a uh, it's showing to us that we achieved something that we did something big you know if uh, my son is celebrating we're celebrating his birthday and almost 1500 people are watching that uh, live video and enjoying with us and like almost 200 comments of people saying mazal tov and congratulations so i really feel that i need to tell you thank you that you are holding with us and that you're helping us and that you're supporting us and it uh, gives a lot of hope because you know i started all of this project from from an individual place from my own place i really felt like teaching i wanted to share my thoughts i wanted to give and in the beginning our name was the muna channel only a muna channel before that we we opened the muna project with all of its uh, outlets and 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 options and um, and all over social media but in the beginning it was only a, a, a small YouTube channel and it started in such a way that I just really wanted to share my thoughts and I, I wanted to share from the teachings of Rabbi Nachman of Breslev and on and whatever that I learned in those days and after a while it, it it really became to be a thing a whole organization 
and it's an Amuna family, and it's a great thing. It's a great thing, and and it gives me the power to understand that in the future to come, instead of talking to thousands of people every day in my lectures. I will speak to millions of people in the same way because you see the will of Hashem in this project that it's only growing and growing and growing and people are just joining us and every day we have close to 10 subscribers and it's only rising. Soon on Facebook and on YouTube we have 8,000 different followers and on the rest of social media we have more and our Spanish page have more than 10,000 subscribers and like we're talking about close to 100,000 people that are watching us um, people, individuals, not hours of teachings, not the classes different individuals around 100,000 people watching those videos and and enjoying from this wisdom every month so the numbers are 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 huge i'll show you a little bit of what that i wrote i illustrated painted I wrote the letters from Aleph, Bet, Gimel, Dalet, Hei, Vav, Zayn, Chet, Tet, and then I went up to Yud, Kaf, Lamed, Mem, Nun, Samch, Ein, Pei, Tzadik, Kufrei, Shin, Taf. And now we'll see where, where else it will take us. So I'm really full of real gratitude to you guys and and I think that it's important to share. I think that it's very important that I will be able to tell you what I think and what I feel because like I'm doing it for you and and when I see that you're also doing so much for for us and that you care about us so it's like it's really it's warming the heart it gives hope it plants hope in in my heart to know that this project is not is not like my project it's not like my idea and my activity it's it's something global it's something huge it's something that 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 have his own wings and and it's growing and and people are coming from all over the world and enjoying and sharing you know few guys took pictures of mine or or, or different pictures of, of, of different things and they wrote and they quoted things that I said like words or comments or like quoted things that I said and they made their own memes like picture with um, picture with text and they posted it online on Facebook and on all social media and they received thousands of comments from people on those things when they wrote the Muna project. In the beginning it was one person that did it and he made something like 100 pictures like those and he received thousands of comments and today there are like maybe maybe five different people that are doing wonderful things and like I almost said they're doing the same thing, but like they're not doing the same thing because every one of them is, is doing something totally different and every one of them is is bringing himself into the picture. So, like, sometimes you hear something that I say in the class and you say, wow, I couldn't say it better. Sometimes you can feel, oh, I, I have another way of, of putting it. So, you can quote the way that I said it or that you can change it and to bring it with your with your spirit with your with your um, um, light and it's uh, and it's so beautiful because it brings out the color and the beauty of of all of us out to the world because there are people that won't be related 
completely to what it I'm saying, but with you they have certain connection that they can hear you and can enjoy from what that you will say in a way that is fantastic and that's why you got your wisdom and that's why you have your talent that you will use it and that you will go with it and gonna share your thoughts and gonna express your your feelings about about the about your learnings about what that you are going through when you are learning and the important thing is not to share my words and to tell someone else oh Rav Dror said this, Rav Dror said that you can use my name when you think that it's useful if you think that if you will connect that person to me he will benefit from that connection so it's great so do that but like if you just want to help that person so you just need to give him the right advice you know so if it's with my words or if it's with your words, it's not important because the purpose is that he will learn, is that he will find himself, is that he will grow and, and will succeed. And that's the, the, the purpose of our project. And people are joining us and um, another friend of us um, joined and started to to post her videos on... on um, on our Amuna Nation um, Facebook page and other people also started a few months ago when many people are enjoying this page around the world you have Jewish people and you have um, and you have non-Jews how you call them? Gentiles? I call, I call them Gentles they're gentle, gentle people and like needs to share the wisdom with everyone some people likes to hear music so we need to create music now I cannot do everything you should create music you should bring your talent and to make music there are people that enjoy art you should bring the wisdom into your art and to share with your art the way you feel about Hashem, the way you feel about yourself, your spiritual process. Share. Let other people enjoy from what that you do and make other people understand that they can also become themselves, allow themselves to be who they are, who that they are. And by doing that, you're bringing the redemption in such speed to the world because the light of Hashem is hidden inside those people and every person holds a holy soul that is a part of heaven from above it's a godly soul and that is the light of Hashem that is hidden inside of him and as long as he's scared and terrified and afraid to share his thoughts and afraid to share the light of Hashem that is inside of him so the light of Hashem is hidden so the light of Hashem is blocked. So when you give someone else the confidence to be himself around you, by that that you will let him feel comfortable with who he is. With who that he is. English is a crooked language. Maybe I just don't get it. My wife and I decided that we're going to learn Spanish. My wife, she's already a professional. She saw Antonella when she was... Uh... How old were you? When you saw Antonella? <laughs> 10? 15? 12? 15? So my wife, she was watching Antonella when she was 15 years old. One of the, like telenovelot telenovela and uh, one of the first spanish uh, television series that came to israel maybe even the first one i don't remember so when we went to the south america tour we've been to colombia so suddenly we saw how uh, gifted and talented my wife is and she was talking to everyone over there and uh, and we enjoyed her ability to express herself in uh, in Spanish. So I think that uh, it will be a right move for us maybe to try to learn 
different languages and to express ourselves in, uh, in more languages and in more ways. The world is very thirsty to hear words of Hashem. And if we won't believe in ourselves and go and spread those seeds of hope in the hearts of people, so they will never gonna be planted, they will never grow, they will never, people won't enjoy that beauty. You know, I have one student, I don't want to mention his name, but I have one student that every time that he's talking online, so almost every time, so he's mentioning my name, and I don't need it, really, it's not like, but he is explaining his experience by, 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 by explaining He's expressing his understanding by explaining his real experience and he's sharing and he's telling everyone that like, okay, Rav Dor said this and Rav Dor said that. And again, I'm saying and I'm telling you the truth. I don't need it. Like it doesn't, it doesn't make me money. It doesn't give me like honor, respect, like no kind of pleasure I received from it. But what that I can see from it is that this person is really walking with me to to every place in his life like he's enjoying my advice he's developing through hearing my classes and he's honest enough to say it and when he's talking to his students to people that are watching him online he's not trying to take honor for himself or to tell everyone that now he came up with this chidush and this new thing been revealed to you know he's just like being honest with with his learning and teaching from that sincere place and he's just sharing that he received all that beauty from me because he learned it from me and this is a very very beautiful thing that you can see that the person he is holding in that level of gratitude and by that not only that he's able to transfer the light to other people and to share it in a very sincere and beautiful way also he himself cannot understand how huge is the light that is going and growing through him compared to other people that in every situation that they have, every option and opportunity that they have to take something for themselves, immediately they're jumping on it and, and claiming, trying to possess this thing. This project, the Muna project, is a project that I built and designed and created from a to Z and there were many people that had the merit the privilege to to join and and to help and to give from their talents but every time that people tried and I saw that to possess something for themselves to take that it will be theirs in that moment something happened in their life not horrible things just simple things that took them away from me and from my project from your project they just weren't able to continue and it's funny i see this thing happen every now and then and there are only few people that are holding on um, for long term and um, and I'm praying for everyone and for me every one of the students that I lost over the years we're talking about people that were eating on our tables people that were that we were hosting for Shabbat people that we helped them to make Aliyah there was one person I won't mention his name that we like we did everything for him he was homeless for a certain time in his life and we were sending him money and like people that were also 
around us, rabbis and people that he tried to receive help from them, they ignored him completely. Like they couldn't care less about him. Like, like in reality, they didn't care about him. And we made sure that he will have a place to stay and send him thousands of dollars. And then he made Aliyah and he came to, to Israel. And when he came to Israel, so he decided like to cut himself from me and to go and to start like developing himself and, and going in different directions. And today, again, he's lost and lost his way and losing his way and losing like without even like probably remembers but like people it's comfortable for them to ignore from from what that they received they are so busy in trying to build themselves and when they forget where they received all their bounty all their wisdom who was really standing for them in the winter days, in the hard days, in days of sorrow, who they really need to have gratitude to. So when they start forgetting that, so they're forgetting the, the truth. And then they're holding in a place of lie because they are claiming to have something, to possess something to themselves. And to think to themselves that they're holding in a certain place and I really don't mind like I wish for everyone to succeed I think you know me already I like I'm very happy to see people succeeding like I'm very much into helping people grow and succeed like I don't mind I really don't mind I'm happy that people are succeeding but when you see that those people are falling and failing and after it losing their connection to to the truth and then failing in weird things and and become like weirdos like start acting silly and then even worse than that start talking lashonara and going and telling their story to everyone and rav dor this and rav dor that so like what can i say what can I say except you're welcome? We're doing the best that we can. Ima, do you want to help me? Uh, maybe you have some words of wisdom that you that you want to to share. Maybe you can put some light into what that uh, into what that that I'm talking about. wanted to say that there were much more than one person that you and I with you did for him what you just said and also much more than one person like that much more <laughs> Any more. every second person that you met you come closer a little bit you don't need to Every second person that you met, you. Brought him in. You brought him in her, uh, into our house. We did laundry for people. We, we made laundry food, for people. We gave we fed money, people, we gave we, money. We talked with people hours. We encouraged people, and it's okay. It's something that we love to do. But people are doesn't know how to say thank you all of the time, and we don't even need this, this thank you. Just it's upsetting. <laughs> it's that. pity because you see that those people like people lost their minds. Like people are are losing so much because of that after it. No, and also a person doesn't need even to go and say or to say bad things about the person that helped him. It's enough that he's hearing something from other people and doesn't... And it's already damaging them him. And 
even worse that he is. Yeah, if let's say someone went to you and started talking to you bad things about someone that you like, that you know that those things are wrong, and you're not confronting that, you're not are you're not telling him, hey, you're lying. You don't you don't like stop him from 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 talking those things. So by not rejecting his lashonara, you let him you poison him. Lashonara. You confirmed his lashonara. You you allow. You just let it in. You just let it sink into your system, and like you've been poisoned now. And, uh, it's not an easy thing, but for us, Baruch Hashem, we're very happy with this situation because we know that when every person walks away from us is opening the way for many others to join after every time that one person left the project and like decided to go on his own suddenly we saw a huge uh, huge development and and wonderful things been opened and that's what Hashem is doing Hashem is replacing one stone with thousands of others and uh, that's it. So, we're going to have a wonderful Shabbat here. Amen. We're hoping. We're hoping to have a wonderful Shabbat. My wife is in a very uh, uplifted uh, <laughs> mood. <laughs> we're having fun. So, things are great. Thank you so much. And we love you. And again, I haven't achieved too much. But... At least we're progressing. We have the Aleph bet. We have some I. I can do much more. What? We can do much more. I can do much more. I'll continue Bezrat Hashem and things will open in a greater and greater way for us, for you, and for the entire universe. Amen. May Hashem bless us all. Thank you, Ima, for your blessing, for your wisdom. wisdom. And, um, and, and, and that's it. Shabbat. Shalom. Enjoy life, be well. Something else? Rosh Hashanah is coming. Keep if, yourself uh, from Lashonara. Keep yourself from Lashonara. And remember who did for you good and who didn't. Who made favors for you and who. Who was good to you, doesn't Who have to was be good, favorites. good for you, good to you, and um, and who wasn't. Um, There is this thing that people are dreaming and hoping to come closer to to tzaddikim or to people that are important or whatever, and like by wanting to to come closer to people that so-called righteous or so-called pure, they're they're dropping the real people that help them along the way, and they're just like creating their own false. Um, yeah, yeah, Victor Daniel, we love you. You're a very wise person. Very wise person. So, Bezat Hashem, from heaven they will assist us not to fall into false imaginations and, and not to create false dreams that will never come true because they're not holding in reality. And just to try to connect ourselves with reality, with real reality, with real beauty of creation. And to hold favor to those ones that really gave us life. And to continue with that good and to influence in a positive way around the world. People are thirsty and, and waiting for our salvation to come. For our spirit to come and to wake them up. And if you will just hold hands... Like I said before, this project that today is talking to 100,000 people a month will talk soon to 100 million people a month. And then even more than that. So Bezat Hashem, have a blessed Shabbat and a wonderful, great life and true happiness and that you won't lack a thing and all your prayers will be answered. Amen. Ken Yehi Ratzon. See you soon. We hope you enjoyed this video very much. Please now remember to subscribe and like this video and share it with your friends to help spread faith in the world. For more, please visit amuna.com. May your light shine always and your requests should be answered with the greatest blessings. Amen.